What's up, FA Nation? Your DFS corner man, Mike Alexander, here with my three favorite fights to target for UFC 256, our final pay-per-view of the year. It's a good one, great main event, uh, with Devison Figueredo taking on Brandon Moreno. Those guys turn it around in quick fashion are getting right back in the octagon to face each other. But I want to kick it off with the people's main event. You've got Tony Ferguson making his return to face Charles Oliveira du Bronx. Uh, great fight. You know, both of these guys are violence merchants of the finest caliber. Ferguson, uh, you know, prior to losing to Justin Gaethje, was on an incredible win streak in the lightweight division, the hardest division in MMA, in the UFC as well. So, you know, he's he's MMA royalty. The guy just puts the volume out there every single fight. Uh, he gets cracked. He goes down. You know, it, it, he does some chicken dances. But he's only been finished by Justin Gaethje, and that was in the championship rounds. So the guy can take a beating. At some point, that catches up with him. It could be here. Uh, that is a major concern. Uh, it, it, it's getting to the point that, you know, he might get dropped one of these times and, and it's just not going to be there to get back up. Um, and DuBronx also has some lethal BJJ. And, you know, Ferguson, very good on the mat himself. But if DuBronx grabs hold of your neck and you weren't expecting it, it can end real fast. Uh, so I'm leaning Charles Oliveira's way. But both guys are definitely in play. You want to own both of them in your pool. And... It's even possible that a stack here could get home uh, if Oliveira managed to score enough and Ferguson won the fight, both with high volume. Uh, next fight I'm pretty interested in targeting. You've got Gavin Tucker taking on Billy Quantrillo. Uh, Quantrillo, 8,500. Tucker, 7,700. Uh, both of these guys, good offensively have defensive flaws. So there's going to be a lot of back and forth. And that's exactly the kind of fight we want to target. They're both good uh, in the grappling department, good with submissions. So there should be points there for uh, advances, reversals, etc. Um, both guys, you know, can give a punch, but have a hard time taking a punch. So could be knockdowns. It's a really tough fight to, to call. Um, so I'm going to let the pricing do the work for me. And going to lean into Gavin Tucker as the $7,700 underdog. Uh, Quantrillo, you know, to hit the value is just a little harder for him. He's got to make up um, that $800 and, and times 10, 11, 12x. So um, I'm going to have more Tucker than Quantrillo, but a great fight to target. And then I'm going to wrap it up with uh, Chase Hooper taking on Peter Barrett. These are our most expensive and least expensive fighter. Normally, that's not on the Corner Man video. The reason is Chase Hooper, why it's being included here. Um, really young kid, has been brought along probably too fast. The UFC does that once in a while. Um, you know, they, they tried to get him seasoned, and he got a little bit, but it was just too much too soon. And he's in there facing guys that are just filled out in, in their frames, in their MMA games, their striking is just, you know, hands and feet above his. And he's starting to have a chin issue because he's getting into these wars time and time again. He'd been able to bail himself out with the jiu-jitsu for a while. Uh, finally couldn't do it against Alex Caceres. And, you know, uh, he, he was a big favorite that night as well and, and stunned uh, a lot of people. Um... Same thing here, you know, he's going to have the grappling advantage on Barrett, uh, at least the BJJ advantage. Barrett can wrestle some, um, but he's kind of a brawler. And if Hooper isn't 100% on point to avoid getting into a brawl, he's going to get cracked, it's going to get funky, and anything could happen. So if the least expensive fighter on the night wins, you better have him. Um, so I'm going to have my share of Barrett. I'm going to mix in a little Hooper as well. I think his ownership is going to be pretty low based on his last fight and the fact that he's the most expensive fighter. Along with, it's not um, a hard card to build. You can you can pay up for whoever you want. So um, 
I don't feel like people are going to need to go to Hooper. Uh, but good luck, and may the sports be with you.